It's believed a long dead forest worker has haunted this cabin for decades. We're here to capture his restless spirit on film. Ty, I'm picking something up. Oh, oh, Cadence is picking something up. Uh, it's coming from that trap door. and this half-eaten sandwich. Oh, Vim, I thought you were setting up cameras outside. I was, and then I wasn't. But yeah, I think we may have just broken into someone's house. Well, are you still recording? Me when I scream like a baby, eh? <laughs> Sorry, bud. Should I not have made it an official wallpaper either? Oh, dude. You do have a great scream face. Oh, once again, we didn't catch a single ghost on camera. How did we do on the audio side? Mmm, I got three mysterious little toots. Two were mine. And I shall claim the other one. And some strange, creepy whispering. Yes! Play it for us. Oh, that is so creepy. Can we clean it up at all? It's quite noisy, but if I vidat the top end and Morton the low end, then run it through this Envy for You plugin, it should sound like this. I am brave. I belong. I'm not irritating. I make a beautiful noise. <laughs> um, wow. This audio equipment is really sensitive. You do make a beautiful noise. Thanks. You know what we need? Gadgets. Check out this thing Rich Ghoulish uses in this episode of Ghosts and Ghoulish. While some might think this is just a face print of a grubby ice cream smothered child, I know the truth. Creamy spirit, I reach out to you from the other side. Tell me why you can't leave this wretched place of icy coon confectionery. Smirrelotny, Swartkel. Tarlotny, Swartkel. Ah, yes. Might sound like the mumbling of a moron, but through this patented spirit gawker, we can see exactly what this homogenized haunt is trying to tell us. It's all coming into focus. I can see it. Ah, lactose intolerant. A clue. See, we need one of those spooky peepers. Spirit gawkers, those things cost heaps and we can't afford one until we start getting more views and we won't get more views until we actually form a ghost. Uh, excuse me, guys. We just got an email from a Mrs. Pococo. She's this crazy old lady who thinks we repair toasters. Oh, do we repair toasters? Uh, no, it says her toaster is completely haunted. Nah, it says completely munted. Yeah, no, I see what you're saying. No, this, this says haunted. Not munted. Ty! Uh, it totally does! We have to go and check it out. Guys, there's only so many times we can film nothing. How about we go film nothing one more time, then we start making unboxing videos. All that weird ASMR stuff. Battery pack. Chap. Stick. Ha ha ha. Okay. Okay, one more. And rolling. The house behind us might look quaint and picturesque. But inside lurks something far darker, an appliance apparition. We're gonna head inside and get to the bottom of this demon device. Welcome to Night Eyes. Uh, so, Mrs. Pukoko, tell us about your haunted toaster. Oh yes, Kiora, it's haunted. Um, well, do you think we might see the toaster go soon? <laughs> no. Oh, ha. Oh, um, <laughs> how come? You've got to put a piece of bread in first. I will do it. Is it turned on? Yes, 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 what it's been doing. 
Oh, that was cool. Oh, we just found the ghost. We have to do it again. Just touch the pack. Speak to us, oh bloodless burner of bread. Yes, that's enough. Buddy, how you doing out there? Oof. What does it mean? German. Ah! Oh, hey, why are you here? I don't know. Maybe it's speaking German. My late husband, Stan, used to be obsessed with buying quality German products. <gasps> A quality German toaster ghost. I have to call Vim. Oh, yeah? Who's Vim? Are you ordering pizza? Uh, I'll have a thin and crispy. The penguins not sleep or something? Look! I think he might be German. That's not German. It doesn't look like any language. See, we need one of those spirit gawkers. Oh! <gasps> Wait! Ghosts and ghoulish! Flip your camera! It's just backwards! Turn the setting to five! Turn the setting to five? Hard to care, <laughs> My late husband always used to say that. Seven is too long. Turn the setting to five. Grumpy old bat. <laughs> what is it? Is the pizza here? Stan! Tom! Is that you? It's me! Your feather buns! Feather buns? Not burnt. Just how my Stan liked it. You can rest now, my love. What you witnessed here today was not special effects or manipulated imagery. While poltergeists can be vengeful, this was purely a case of a departed loved one needing to pass on one last message. Set your toaster to five. Yes! We did it! We're actual ghost hunters! <laughs> like, you hear that, ghosts? I'ma hunt you down. I'ma hunt you good. You're not still filming, right?